Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Welcome to the Big Idea series where we answer curious questions for curious minds. When you think of flamingos, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For most of us, it's the color pink. These elegant, long-legged birds are icons of color, often seen standing gracefully in shallow lagoons, salt flats, and estuaries. But here's something wild. They aren't born pink. In fact, flamingo chicks hatch covered in grayish-white down feathers. So where does that bubblegum hue come from? And why do they turn that color at all? Today on Big Ideas, we're diving into the science, the ecology, and even the symbolism behind one of nature's most unexpected color transformations. Let's get into it. Flamingos get their pink coloring from their diet. More specifically, from carotenoids, naturally occurring pigments found in algae, plankton, and tiny crustaceans like shrimp. These pigments are the same ones that give carrots their orange color, sweet potatoes their rich tone, and even autumn leaves their golden hues. But flamingos don't eat carrots, so how does this work? In the wild, flamingos filter feed on organisms found in saline or alkaline water, especially brine shrimp and blue-green algae. These organisms are rich in carotenoids, particularly a type called beta-carotene and canthentazine. When flamingos consume this food, their bodies metabolize the carotenoids and deposit the pigments into their skin and feathers. Over time, their plumage turns a vibrant pink or even reddish hue. Now, the strength of that pink color depends entirely on how much carotenoid-rich food they consume. Flamingos in the wild have constant access to the right types of food. But in captivity, like in zoos, they often require a special diet that mimics their natural intake. Without that diet, their feathers would fade to a pale gray or white. Zoologists often supplement flamingo food with paprika, carrots, or synthetic carotenoids to maintain their trademark look. Not for vanity, but because in flamingo society, color matters. Which brings us to a fascinating point. That pink plumage isn't just for show. It plays a crucial role in social behavior and mating success. In flamingo colonies, brighter colored individuals are generally healthier and more attractive to potential mates. A flamingo's color can signal its nutritional status, immune strength, and reproductive fitness. Researchers have found that flamingos with duller feathers are often passed over during courtship displays. So a rich pink color can directly influence a flamingo's ability to reproduce. Interestingly, some flamingos even ramp up preening before mating season, spreading oil from a gland near their tails over their feathers. This oil can enhance their color temporarily, much like putting on makeup. In other words, pink isn't just pretty, it's powerful. There are six species of flamingos worldwide and they don't all look the same. Some species are lighter pink, others are deep red or orange, depending on their specific diets and habitats. For example, lesser flamingos, which live in Africa and India, feed primarily on cyanobacteria, giving them a more intense red hue. Greater flamingos found across parts of Africa, Europe, and Asia are often paler pink because they eat a broader mix of food sources. Caribbean flamingos, also called American flamingos, are usually the most vividly colored thanks to their high intake of carotenoid-rich crustaceans. 
This variety makes flamingos a fascinating study in our environment and how diet directly impacts appearance. Flamingos aren't the only animals that owe their color to carotenoids. Salmon turn pink because of the shrimp and krill they eat. Lobsters and crabs appear brown or green when alive, but turn red when cooked because heat breaks down proteins and reveals carotenoid pigments. Scarlet ibises, another stunning bird species, also get their fiery color from crustacean-based diet. In the animal kingdom, diet and color are often deeply linked. So, what makes flamingos stand out isn't just that they're pink, it's that their color isn't built in. It's something they earn through how they live and what they eat. So why are flamingos pink? It's not just a quirk of nature. It's a living example of how biology, ecology, and even evolutionary psychology work together. Their color is a biological response to diet, a social signal within their communities, and a reminder that appearances in the animal world often reflect much deeper systems at play. Next time you see a flamingo, whether it's in a zoo, a nature documentary, or standing proudly in the wild, remember that pink hue is a signal, a story, and a survival strategy. In nature, color always means something. And in the case of flamingos, it's a big idea wrapped in feathers. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.